Bowhead Futures presents digital health at the front lines. We explore how healthcare is shifting by deep diving with the doctors transforming the system from the inside out. As more and more of these digital tools are brought in, and and you know, there's obviously, like you said, there's there's more opportunities for patients to interact directly with you and with other clinicians and with the system. And, and so it's interesting because there's, we, we obviously want patients to become more empowered and play a, a, you know, a deeper role in their own health journey. But then there's also this tension that, you know, with empowerment comes also more communication and more questions. And is there time for that? You know, so I'm curious on your part, are you, are you an outlier or do you sort of represent uh, the sort of average clinician and their openness to um, to their patient using tools to better understand their health and take more of, of a proactive step. I tend to be more of an early adopter of things, but you know, in the context of a busy clinical day, even if I'm an early adopter, if it doesn't work, if it doesn't fit, if it creates more work for me, um, you know, if it's actually if it's actually not solving a pain point, then it's just not going to get used, even as much as I'm like excited about a technology, because um, there's just so little margin in terms of like the way that a clinical day goes. Um, I think the the challenge, right, is the implementation science piece of it. It's, it's a lot of what we focus on today. It's like the, how do you move from that innovation layer to like the reality layer <laughs> um, of actually implementing and, and making an impact. Experience drives belief, drives action. So if we have the experience of this really helped my patient achieve a great outcome and it was great working with it, there's not really, you don't have to sell it, so to speak. Um, it speaks for itself. I think the other pressures are that like consumers have such high expectations now around, you know, once upon a time it was, you could, you could call your doctor or make an appointment, you know, call the office or make an appointment. And now they can essentially email me directly through the portal. And I'm expected to respond within 24 hours. Um, and that's a huge shift in terms of the relationship. You know, what it feels like sometimes at the provider end is it's really overwhelming because now we're not just taking care of patients who come to see us, but we're taking care of all the patients who aren't there asynchronously. And it's been a challenge to think about how we account for that work. Um, and right now, for the most part, it's not. <laughs>